Hello, and welcome to an episode of EAS Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, uh, I'm going to show how you can fix a common problem with uh, hard drives. Um, there's been dozens of people who's wrote in asking me about uh, connecting a hard drive to a computer. Uh, in one of my previous uh, well, it's been a while. Uh, I did a video of connecting an old hard drive to the computer so you could transfer your files off of the old hard drive using a USB adapter. It's my uh, PC did transfer files from the, old, from the old hard drive video, the popular video that we have on our channel. Uh, people have been writing in saying that when they connect the drive using the adapter, to the computer, uh, nothing will show up, but yet it wants to initialize the disk. Now, I've seen this happen, or I should say heard this happen, when it comes to Windows 7. Now, um, what the case may be is because is that since the drive did come out of an old computer that the master boot record may have been damaged as to why maybe the PC didn't start up. This software which is made by AOMEI is called the Partition Assistant Home Edition and it is a free for private and commercial use. This is the basics software that they have. Uh, if you read the description below the video on the watch page, uh, I do give the link to get your own free copy of this software. And I'm going to show you uh, how to use uh, the master boot record rebuild function. Uh, I do have other tutorials for this software. Uh, I will also give a link to uh, the website so you can download your free copy at the end of this video. Uh, the master boot record is very, very important. And it does pertain to all of Windows. From uh, Windows XP on up. Now, it's called the master boot record because it contains two things. The first thing it contains is a map, or the partition table. It's pretty much a map that shows you how the hard drive is divided up, especially if it's got multiple partitions. Another thing that the master boot record contains is the uh, bootloader. Now, the bootloader is a program that's used that finds and loads the operating system from the hard drive's partition. And it's very important to have. Now, if the MBR, or the master boot record, is damaged or corrupted, well, it's kind of hard to access the drive without that information. Well this software can fix the problem. Um, you'll notice that on here that I got my disk 4 highlighted. Now this is a familiar window. If you've seen my other tutorials for the software, this is basically the same window. Uh, here we're going to work with disk 4. Now there's nothing on the disk, but I do have it set up to uh, in hopes that I can recreate what other viewers have been describing to me as to the problem. Um, now what's happened here is in most cases when you have a brand new hard drive you have to initialize it. And that's because there's nothing on it. No boot record, no nothing. And 
right now, because I've got this thing set up, I can now initialize the disk. Well, let's assume there's data on there. Well, as you can see here, the operating system assumes that there's nothing on the drive. But you know there is. So what we need to do is go to, we got disk 4 highlighted. On your computer, it may be different. Uh, but in this case, mine is disk 4. You'll come over here and you'll see Rebuild MBR. You'll also, if you right click the drive, you'll also notice down here it says Rebuild the MBR. Uh, you can do it either way. You click on it. And it wants to know what type of operating system it was. Now, the software here can do uh, Windows XP 2000, 2003, Windows Vista 2008, Windows 7, and Windows 8. That it can repair these types of MBRs. Now, you'll probably notice that some errors are probably something like uh, invalid partition tables, uh, you'll get uh, things like uh, the operating system not found, uh, missing operating system. I mean, it, it's just different types of errors. And, and if that's the case, this software can help out. Now, the drive that we're using used to use Windows Vista. That is what the, op the drive was set up as. Now, be sure you remember the operating system that was on the drive. So you can properly rebuild it. Now, once you have it selected, choose OK. Now, nothing changes down here, or it may not. On your case, it may. Uh, this is my little guinea pig, and... Uh, I'm just using it for the demonstration. But look over here to the left. You'll see the pending operations. Choose up here at apply. And this is what it's going to take. This is going to rebuild the MBR for hard disk number four. The size of the drive is 111, blah, 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 blah. Down here at the bottom. It will tell you an approximation of how long it will take. In this case, it says about 30 seconds. Now, once you approve what it's going to do in your operations, choose Proceed. And then you choose Yes. And now, once it's completed, now, your, your drive is working. Now, over here, it used to say initialize drive. Now it does not. As you can see here, it does not show initialize drive. If you right click, you'll notice that initialize disk is no longer available. What we did was repair the master boot record. This allows the computer to see what's on the drive. Now, if you, if you do run into problems when you're trying to hook up your hard drive to using the USB, as I've demonstrated in uh, my PC Dead tutorial, uh, try this software out and see if it corrects the MBR to where you can access the drive. And please, let me know if it does work. Because I haven't been able to recreate the problem except for this. But I want to see if it will work on a hard drive that you've described of it not working in Windows 7. And instead of initializing it, try the software here. Uh, again, the link to the software is at the bottom. 
in the description of the video on the watch page and I will have it listed on here at the end of the video so please let me know if it did help solve that problem well I'm your host Mr. Fixit this has been the presentation for ES Repair uh, we do have other do-it-yourself videos and tutorials on our channel you can reach us at www.youtube.com slash user slash ESrepair. Thank you for watching.